Hi gorgeous, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I'm doing a, I'm, I'm doing this tutorial, this look, and using the Revealed 2 palette. I've had a lot of people request if I could show some video, some tutorial using this palette. So that's what I wanted to do today. It's a very beautiful, girly, yet glamorous look, I think. And since this is a really affordable palette, I figured I might as well just do the whole thing and make a drugstore. Why not? So everything you see me use today is drugstore. Um, this you're gonna have to get online uh, on Coastal Sun's website, but it's incredibly affordable and it is definitely drugstore um, when it comes to afford, you know, it's very affordable, like a drugstore product is. Usually, some, some are really high, but usually drugstore products are pretty affordable. So, I did this look for you today, and like I said, it's really girly, it's really pretty, it's soft, yet glamorous, and I absolutely love it. I kept everything really uh, pink, um, so that you can see that you can make pink work, whether it's on your eyes, on your cheek, like pinky pinks, if you know what I mean. Um, enough blabbering, this is the look I did for you today. If you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. We're going to start off with the eyes first, and as a base, I'm using this Cream Shadow Foam col Color Flower Cosmetics in the color Mum's the Word, which is a really beautiful pinky, I guess, yeah, it's like a pinky color. I'm going to do a wash of that all over my lid. Okay. For shadows, I'm going to be using my Revealed 2 palette, since I'm keeping pretty much everything drugstore, I wanted to use this one, and, um, oh, just dropped my brush, um, it's okay, but, uh, I know that you can't just walk into a Walgreens and pick this up, but it's very drugstore friendly in terms of price, so I'm going to go ahead and use this guy as pretty much for everything. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this color right here. This doesn't, doesn't have any names, so that's the bad part. I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight with just a small, just a, like a small shadow brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk. With a fluffy brush, this is the E35 from Sigma. I'm going to go into this mauve color right here, which is matte, and that's going to be our transition color. So I'm going to pop that right into the crease and with a really light hand, just kind of buff it back and forth in windshield wiper motion. You don't want to apply too much color, but it is going to make everything kind of glide on and the dark, if you're going to use a darker color to deepen the crease, it just kind of makes it go on a lot smoother and with a better, like a better transition. For the first color I'm using, I am going to use this one right over here, this gold color, and I'm going to use it on a flat brush, but I am going to wet my brush a little bit using my NYX, NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. That way it goes on a lot more, um, a lot more pigmented and there's not as much fallout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pl apply this in the first like half from the inner corner to like the middle of the eye and I just kind of pat go back in, pick up some more, with the same brush I'm just going to go in with the next color which is this I guess pinky, like a pinky purpley color, I'm going to tap that out and I'm going to apply this on the outer half of the lid and you can overlap that line so that there's not such a stark line between the first color and the second color. If you hear the, the noise, it's just the wind that we're, it's crazy windy out there today. We're going through like a crazy wintry whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go in with, where is it at? This color right here, the matte one, very lightly. I'm going to pick that up on that same fluffy brush, not picking up a lot, tap off the excess and just deepen up that crease. As you can see, I'm still using a really big fluffy brush because I want this to be kind of like a blown out look. I don't want it to be so precise and have such a defined crease, but I do want to deepen it up a little bit if that makes any sense, which is why I'm sticking with this brush rather than more of a precise brush. Now at this point you can do a wing liner, you 
don't have to do a wing liner. I'm going to do a really, really thin one um, because I want that darkness at the base of my lashes. I'm going to go in with my Essence Gel Liner. It's really not even going to be so much of a wing as it is just going to be kind of like a line just to darken up the base of my lashes. And it's just kind of like that. And I'm just using my Essence, what is this called? My Essence Gel Liner and the, the this is the Sigma E65 brush. And I'm just going to do a really just non-existent wing really. Okay, so you can see it's a really, really, really tiny wing. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a little bit more on the eye. I'm going to go back with that same brush. I'm going to spray it again. This is the um, Sigma E55 brush. And then I'm going to go in with this sparkly champagne pink color right over here. And I'm going to pat that into the very center of my lid on top of that wing. You don't want to place it on the wing, kind of on top of it. can't really see it, but when the sun hits it, it's going to look gorgeous. And then I'm going to go back in with the sparkly, purpley one that we use with a big fluffy brush. Tap out most of it and then just go over that brown with it. I want to just tie in that pinky purple a little bit more. Just like that. And then before we do the inner corner or anything else, I'm going to just prep my lashes because I am going to be doing falsies. Um, instead of doing, I'm going to be, I'm going to be using the Ardell 122s. I think these are just called the Wispies. I'm not sure. There's no, I lost the box. Um, but instead of doing, instead of curling my eyelashes first, I'm going to apply some mascara, pop all my false lashes, and then just curl them together just for a second to kind of like make everything look really wispy and awake and fluttery and I'll show you. I, I'm just going to apply, this is just the Voluminous Million Lashes Excess Mascara. It's good for separating. Let the glue get tacky. Make sure you trim them to fit your eye and then pop them right on. Okay, and then we're going to curl them all together and do our bottom lash line and yada, yada, yada once the glue is dried. But now I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit so that we can work on the rest of the face. For primer, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. I'm going to pop that onto the sides of my, like kind of on the, on the inside of my cheek, I guess. A little bit on the chin. And then use my stippling brush from Mural Techniques to kind of just pat that all into place. Since I don't have a drugstore alternative, I'm going to skip my corrector and I'm going to go straight on to foundation. The foundation I'm using is the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup in the color 30 Soft Beige. So I'm going to put my, um, my sleeves up to get on my nerves. Pop some of that onto the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to apply this onto the skin, onto the face, I should say. And then I'm going to use my Sigma, I don't even know what this is called, F80. And I'm going to just buff that into the skin and pat it into place. For concealer, since I don't have a corrector from the drugstore, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Medium, which is a great, uh, like, salmon-y tone, it's a great salmon -y toned concealer. I'm going to apply just a small dot of this right into that inner, that inner part of my eye. And then I'm going to blend that out using my e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm really not blending it. As you can see, I'm more patting it into place. And then for a little bit of a, a brighter look under my eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me in Light or Sand. And this I'm going to go underneath of where we put that first one. Put a few dots like so. Tip of the nose a little bit. 
little bit on the chin and the forehead. And the reason why I do that is because if you have just really light under your eyes and nowhere else, it kind of looks unbalanced. And to me, that just does not look okay. So a little bit, if you're just trying to lighten the very center of your face a little bit everywhere, it looks more cohesive, I guess. And I just take that same e.l.f. brush and blend that out. I love this concealer and I die for this brush and I'm so disappointed I didn't put this in my 2014 favorites because it definitely should be. So consider this an add-on to that. <laughs> and then as always, I just go back with my foundation brush and blend the edges together. To set my concealer, I'm going in with this product. This is the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Re Reserve Your Cabana. So not a bronzer, but phenomenal for setting your under eyes. Then to set everything else really lightly, I'm using my Milani Face Powder in the color Tan, which is not really a good color because it's not that tan. <laughs> And then this is just a big fluffy brush from Sigma. I'm just using it, I don't use it to apply color. I use it just to set everything in place. I'm gonna give my face just a few minutes to settle and work on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna take this pencil, which is by, it's the Silk, Silk Kiss Me, Silk Kiss, what? Whatever, it's this pencil from L'Oreal. And it's the Illuminate, it's the rose gold looking one. I'm going to apply some of this in my in the inner corner and underneath the lash line a little bit. The inner corner, I should say, of my lower lash line. And then just take a small pencil brush and just blend that out so it's not so severe. And that same pencil brush I want you to go in with this I want you <laughs> uh, go in with this color this matte color that we used in the crease put a little bit of that onto your pencil brush and just run it on your lower lash line and then I'm gonna go in with that purpley pinky color right here same brush put that on top of that brown I'm now going to darken up the lash band with some of the Wet n Wild glue. Glue. This stuff, the liquid liner. I'm losing it today. And while that sets, before we curl everything else, I'm going to bronze up the skin, do a little bit of blush and all that. And this is my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster and just a Sephora brush. This is a powder brush. but. I use it for bronzer and just warm up the perimeter of your face. For blush, I've got this gorgeous palette here. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is the light blush palette. And I'm going to be mixing together these two colors right over here with just a blush brush. Just mix them up and pop that onto your cheeks. And for highlighters, I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick in the color Miami Strip. If I can get this open. And I'm going to go in, not, I'm not going to touch this color, but I'm going to touch those two, like those right in between the darkest and the lightest. And apply that onto the cheekbones. It's a very subtle highlight, but it's quite beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. But if you touch a little bit of that lighter color, it's all good. And, you know, pop it where you normally would. And now I want to just set everything with my Dewy Makeup Finish Setting Spray from NYX. And then, then just let that dry. Very carefully, I'm going to go in with my lash curler. Eyelash curler. That just looks so pretty. And then just my Maybelline Lash Discovery for the lower lashes. And then for lips, I want to keep it that pinky, pinky color. Yeah, I'm going to keep it nice and pink. Not fluorescent, but pretty pink. Take off my lip balm. Kiss the back of my hand to soak up any, anything else. And then I just take my powder brush to just 
with whatever is on it because it just makes everything else when your lips are like balmy or anything it makes lip liner and stuff just it's very difficult to put it on properly in my opinion so I just make sure I have a nice matte surface and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip liner in the color rose and I'm gonna fill in my whole lip with this And then taking Milani's lip liner in all natural and I'm going to outline my lips because I want them to look a little more pouty. I always get like, um, my mother always says take a deep breath because your lip liner can take you 10 minutes. It won't take me 10 minutes, but it could take a bit because you really want to be precise. For lipstick, I'm going in with Revlon's uh, Primrose. And for lip gloss, I'm going to go in with the Brilliant Lip Shine, Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss from Milani in the color Pink Lady. A little bit of this. This is a really pretty gloss. And this is the finished look. I hope that you like it. My hair needs to be tamed a little bit today. It's a little bit crazy and wild because I had a curly yesterday, but I hope that you like it. I hope that inspired you to pull out your Revealed 2 palette and maybe some drugstore products that you didn't know were so amazing like these are. Um, I don't know. I think it's a very beautiful, girly look, It's but yet it's so glamorous. It's glowy. It's just... Oh, I love looks like this, and it gets me all excited for spring because I feel like everything is going to be popping up and pretty pastel colors are going to be everywhere. No, no, absolutely love it. And I hope that you did too. Leave your suggestions for future videos down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more drugstore tutorials. And if you do, if you have any products in mind in particular that you'd like to see put to use, I would love for you to list them below so that I can, I can use them in a future drugstore tutorial so that you can see how they work. Or maybe if you've had a hard time making something work, maybe I can help you with that. But that's that. Um, Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And do I, do I have anything else to say? Mm -mm. Nope, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.